Hello, nice to be with you. And uh, I've just been thinking about uh, the church this today. And uh, we don't read a great deal or hear a great deal about the church on uh, television or in the newspapers. But uh, we need to remind ourselves that uh, the church is in the world. And I just want to mention one or two things that the Bible says about the church. First of all, of course, Jesus himself said in Matthew chapter 16, he said, I will build my church. And uh, we're reminded that the church is like a building. And as Peter says in his letter, we're like living stones and we're a spiritual temple and we're meant to worship God. Jesus building his church, the temple. And then we're also reminded in Ephesians chapter 1 that uh, the church is the, is the body of Christ and uh, the, he is the head of the church and we are the members. There is a hymn which says Christ has no hands but our hands to do his work today. He has no feet but our feet to lead men in his way. And a reminder of our responsibility to be witnesses unto him and to share our faith with others. Uh, he is the head of the church and we are the body of Christ. And then there's a lovely thought in uh, Revelation uh, chapter 19 where it says that the wedding of the Lamb has come and the bride has prepared herself for it. That's in Revelation chapter 19. And there is a reminder of the love of Christ for his church, which he looks upon as his bride. And uh, we, we, we need to remind ourselves that we are uh, given to him. Uh, I'm thinking of Peter, after Peter had denied his Lord three times, you remember after the resurrection, when Jesus appeared to the disciples and Peter was amongst them. And he says, Peter, Peter, do you love me? Do you love me, Peter? And he says, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, you know I love you. And uh, he challenges him, doesn't he, three times. Do you love me? Do you really love me? Yes, Lord. And as a bride of Christ, then we should show love for our bridegroom. Do you love me? And uh, we want to keep ourselves abiding in the love of the Lord Jesus. The church's one foundation is Jesus Christ, her Lord. She is his one foundation by water and the word. From heaven he came and sought her to be his loving bride. With his own blood he bought her, and for her life he died. Yes, just a reminder that the church is the building of Christ. It's lovely in Acts chapter 2 on the day of Pentecost when 3,000 were added says the Lord added daily to the church. The Lord added to his church. And today, the Lord will have been adding uh, to his church around the world. And if you keep in touch with missionary societies like Open Doors or the Bible Society, well, you'll know that the church is very active and growing in many parts of the world. So I just leave those thoughts with you to remind ourselves that we're members of Christ's church, his building, his body, 
and his bride. May the Lord add to his church locally those who are being saved. Just a word of prayer. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came into the world to give your life for sinners. And we thank you, Lord, that you're building your church. We thank you, Lord, that we've heard your call and we've come to trust you as our Saviour, as our friend, as our Lord, and as our heavenly bridegroom. So bless us and make us a blessing in these needy days. We ask it for your glory. Amen. Okay, well, good to be with you. I look forward to seeing you again next week, God willing. Bye-bye and God bless.